fun today. <laughs> That's all yes. I can say. We're going to well, have fun today. We, we, we had some ideas. I don't think we can talk about the Tarantino thing because I haven't seen it yet, but I will have full seen it. But we did talk about the learn to rest, not to quit, which is a way of thinking about as, you know, as as people are returning to school and fall the year coming up. Yeah, summer's it's coming to an summer. end. Yes, yeah, time summer. to get back to, uh, you know, get busy with all the tasks that we have to do. Um, I will hey. say this. Somebody once described Stevie Nicks' voice as someone having sex with a goat. And I don't know. And if that's, yeah. That's, yeah that, uh, that's, uh, it just comes where, to mind sometimes. Where I come from, I just I call know. that a Monday. That's, you know, a mountains. <laughs> really, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your Mondays are pretty rough, I understand. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Well, Valentine's you've been at camp. Day, you've been, you know, stock. Mondays are yeah. going to be rough. Uh, I understand Yeah, it was. That. Holy cow, it was a camp. I was going to wear one of my Prowl t-shirts, but I thought I might say But I did wear it because I haven't bathed. In a, uh, I took Friday off to do some things, so I haven't bathed. So I haven't bathed in two days. So. Okay, this is going to be a very short got therapy uh, episode today because uh, the sound and the smell together, <laughs> so I don't they, know. They probably go together, actually. <laughs> they, they may, they hey, may. Look, you smell like a dental drill sound, so I'm just trying to say it. <laughs> All right, my friend. It's good to see you. I know we've had a little bit of time there. You had some, some things, things to happened. do. You had to go, I you went know, to prison. Do, do. <laughs> you got, just got out of prison. And we're back on God right. Therapy Podcast, and today we're talking about If you about steal some meat, and, uh, first thing, you can steal first a couple of, of meat stacks from a spectrum, but if, if you steal enough, and I found out that if you stuff your pants completely with meat stacks, eventually they'll know. Just will. Okay. And I, you'll I, be poppy with dogs. Like, I, for some reason, my dog now wants to hang out with me more than I've... Yes, and he, and it's that uh, he did before. It's that meat suit that you've been <laughs> wearing around. Been okay, I got a, it. Yeah. Sort of a Lady Gaga moment there. You know, uh, this is this is no lie. I went dressed as Lady Gaga in her meat suit for Halloween one year. My my wife bought all these fake pictures of um, of raw meat, and she wove them together in a dress, and then put me in drag, and I wore it. I have pictures of that, by the way. Um. <laughs> You know, now the question is, do I really want to see it? I kind of do, but then I'm not <laughs> really wanna. sure if I do. I've actually been in drag several times. And then one, one Halloween, I wore nothing but a diaper. <laughs> when my son was born, I went as my son as a baby, and my wife went as a, an attractive mother. Right, and, right, okay. And, uh, Sound like you got the short end of that deal. <laughs> well, I, there, but. I did get to breastfeed. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's sorry. that's all right. Almost did a did a spit take there as I was getting <laughs> yeah, yeah. some water. We haven't done one yet, but we can, we're ready for it at any time now. All right. So uh, tell me a little bit about what's on your mind. I know we just touched a moment ago on some things. So mm -hmm. uh, kind of tell me what's up. What's How on about, your mind? What do you want to talk thinking, about today? This is the beginning of fall uh, of the fall for lots of folks. Teachers are going back to school. Kids yeah. are going back to school. Yeah. It's going to ramp ramp up. Yeah. Yeah, so for parents, um, I guess the kids going back to school, that's a great thing. They feel that relief a little right. bit, a little less. Uh, Get those little to... bastards out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know. I well, uh, it could be that, but um, I don't know. Uh, it seems like there's a sort of a back to work, back to school mentality, and we get energized a little bit, and maybe that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And we get back into the routines, mm -hmm. and that structure of having that routine things to do every day is mm -hmm. probably good for us in mm -hmm. some ways. So what have you got on your mind about this change coming up? Well, uh, for one thing, one of the ways I prepare to, to be able to survive the uh, to get start back to school is I uh, every morning I just rub myself from head to toe and fix vapor rub yes it just yes keeps me awake <laughs> it keeps me from you know I, there's some families out there that do that by the way <laughs> uh, yeah i got some relatives we can I talk about later the, uh, but. actually no i am um, there should be a flavor of ice cream vapor rub no no there <laughs> should not be that's a right. flavor while you're eating but, it, it clears uh, your sinuses it's a win-win it's a win uh, it's a win-win uh, uh, no. no besides that no here's what i'm thinking okay Th there's a saying it's even a meme, and I like it. It is learn to rest, not to quit. Okay. And um, don't quit. Yes. But rest. Right. And, and it's okay. interesting because most of us, it, particularly people, come to see me in therapy. One of their problems, they often come in, and it's a, it's um, a reactive depression as a result of of the anxiety and drivenness of the things they have to do. So they often come in right. and with a form of sort of emotional and physical exhaustion. Right. So. It's a skill to learn to rest. 
I would say, particularly in our capitalist society where, where we work more and more and more, money is time, acquisition of capital is important, that we have gotten the, the skills of resting are minimal. Right. And I don't mean the rest that happens like, okay, you work for 11 months and, you know, 30 days and then two days you go to, the, to Panama City right. and drink until you vomit. That's not resting. Hey, that's not resting. We want to think about resting in terms of what you do every day. <clears throat> okay. And, and, you know, and, and, and there, there is a skill to this. You know, and if you wanted to be able to break it down the first, it's like um, we often re don't realize we have our foot on the gas. If you're in a car right. and the car's starting to overheat, it literally tells you some things. There's some things that our body try tell us, the things that our emotions say to us, and if we can learn to listen... We can listen for those uh, those signs that we may be overheating. Well, I, it's, it implies what you're saying is that we don't pay attention to that rest that we need. We just push and push, and we're in that society now where that is expected. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working more. We're coming home with our phones. We're mm -hmm. checking the our phones. email again. I mean, I got one of and the too. phone's another yeah, terrible kind of, of thing where we get connected to uh, mm -hmm. technology and cannot unconnect or get off the you know it, there's a, was an interesting uh, there's a there's some backlash about um, mindfulness and some uh, cbt treatments from um, from some corners particularly um the anti-capitalist neo-marxist corners and they talk about how that um the goal of mindfulness if from a neoliberal perspective it's it's just a way for us to be better at working and buying more things Right. So right. the goal that's, that's is a sort right. of the capitalist goal right. in a way. But so if you meditate three times a day, you can work harder, right? Right. And, <laughs> right. and it's a little akin. I don't know if you've seen these commercials. You've probably seen these commercials. I don't know. I've seen the, a lot. You might. You might have. Where the guy like eats like a ton of nachos and six hot dogs, and at the end of it, he's like, "Oh man, my stomach hurts." And they say, "You know, you need this antacid, and you'll feel better." You know. And right. What, what they're not saying is, is the reason that you feel bad you is because you just take that. <laughs> That's right. So, the it, it, in, a, in a way, mindfulness is like a um, an emotional and vocational antacid. It's just a way to be able to deal with a symptom without actually dealing with what the symptom's trying to tell you. Right. Well, I, I know we talked about on this uh, on this podcast a lot the idea is that people need to become more aware of what's what's going on around them, what their mm -hmm. thoughts about being able to somehow uh, mediate and work with those emotions that kind of rise up and. Um, people are not paying attention to this either. It sounds mm -hmm. like, and that's that's kind of an issue that we need to get to. So, mm -hmm. so um, you know, meditation, uh, mm -hmm. mindfulness, doing some of that throughout the day is that bad, or does that gear us up to work harder? Well, here's the thing, because because and and I might uh, and as you know, I'm uh, I'm the biggest fan of CBT therapy in the world. I mean, I got a I got a fan, I've got a tattoo. It happens to be on a part of my body that I want. Then no, it's just no, no. But I, I, I'm being a little sarcastic. No, here. of course not. I, I've, I've no been problem. a little. No problem. And, and, and part of my problem with with some of these things is is they have um, they um, and a, a neo Marxist critique would be able to say, as opposed to allowing your symptom to tell you about what sort of change they need to happen, if you only deal with the symptom and its reduction, then you may perpetuate. Or at least not deal with the thing that's causing the symptom. So, right. for instance, if um, if uh, if 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 we are suddenly dealing with, and, and there's it depends on how you crunch the numbers on this because I'm not sure, but it does look as if we're suddenly seeing a rise in in some mental illness stuff, suicidality, uh, particularly among some sectors of the population and whatnot, and it may be connected with. Uh, the ways in which we are not listening to ourselves, right? right. And so it yeah. isn't that mindfulness isn't a bad, is a good or a bad thing, but part of what can happen in mindfulness, and I, and I, I meditate daily, um, okay. usually while eating a, a, about a, a sleeve of Oreos. <laughs> I don't know if you ever do this. <laughs> a like, sleeve of Oreos. Sleeve of Oreos. Okay, yeah. It's like just a sleeve. That's too many. <laughs> it's, just a, saying. it's a lot of Oreos. It's, it's a lot of Oreos. And you know what? I, it, Oreos are the only food that can destroy your pancreas. I mean, okay, there we go. I don't, <laughs> no, really I don't know if that uh, affects your pancreas. <laughs> yeah, well, but, uh, I'm told you need one of those. It probably works at some level. I'm <laughs> it sure. probably does. But one of my favorite kinds of mindfulness is an insight-oriented mindfulness. So part of what happens is one meditates to generate an awareness of what's going on inside of you. So you begin to listen. You begin to to gener to to put 
the capacity to listen to yourself with just enough distance that you can have some curiosity and some concern and then some potential investment. So it's not that you just let your feelings flow through and try to find happiness and move on. Right. It's a question of I'm feeling this. What do I give it? What 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 is it? What's right. the name for this thing? And then um, you may ask the why. And there's a saying in, in some of these circles that you, sh you never ask a why without a what. So the why may be, why might I be feeling this? But the what is, what am I going to do? So there's always a why and then a what. Right. It's, it is kind of taking a little bit of inventory on, on what's on your mind, what's in your life, and, and uh, maybe prioritizing those in some way. But, but listen, pay attention to everything because it's in there. And then there is a know, deep figure wisdom. out an idea of what to do. Think, think our, our nervous systems have been uh, this, this dance for millions and millions of years with our environment. They are exquisite and finely tuned. They're supposed to tell us something. They register both the internal and the external environment and our capacity to be able to listen to them. In the same way we might listen to a, a piece of music or a symphony or, um, you know, polka. I don't know. People okay. have polka. Well. Um, if, um, as an aside, too, with the, I was at this camp, you know, and they're playing a lot of the contemporary R&B and rap stuff. And at one point, okay. I, uh, I hijacked their system and put on a polka album from my title account. Did you really? And you know the mm bop mm -bop. Yeah, yeah, Kids yeah. don't like that. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they're not really into. Um, you're not, either in Georgia, not Wisconsin, or some other a, uh, place. I've they never, might appreciate I, it, but I, no. I was, but in my head, I thought, what if suddenly a bunch of folks broke out some lederhosen? And we had a, <laughs> we had like a good old fashioned polka. You mean that, that people actually brought Lita Hose and uh, I don't know about you, but wherever there, I go, I bring me a pair. Wherever you go, I'm sure I've that's exactly some, what I got. Some Lita Hose. <laughs> but uh, um, um, it, 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 your nervous system is exquisite. It, it, it has the yeah. our capacity to listen to what's important and what could happen if we're not careful. Part of what leading what leads to to not developing the skill to rest is we stop listening. If you're having trouble sleeping, if you're having a consistent GI trouble, if you find yourself depressed, if you find yourself overly tired, if you need 12 Red Bulls just to get through the first four hours of your day, you right. I mean, want to ask yourself, what does this mean, you know? Yeah, too, too much, and you probably need to pay attention to that. But I think we are sort of wound up. There's mm -hmm. this, you know, just... Uh, uh, I'm an e epidemic of this anxiety that's flowing through our society right now. I think everybody's kind of tense. We're up and armed. We're depressed, maybe even. There's anxiety. There's depression. There's a lot of things going on. So how do you find yourself sort of making it through uh, this, this high-tension world? Mm -hmm. And you can't now, if you're saying meditation is something that takes you through that, maybe increases it so you can it could. Uh, deal with it better. I'm not sure that's my understanding of of sort of rest so so what do you think about what should we do with this idea well i i, I am I'm, i i think we should uh, we shouldn't engage in red bull enemas because um even though that might be something you might be thinking about doing so it's expensive no and um i, I think what you can, again it goes back to being able to to develop the skills to rest and the first step is in to be able to give the things that you're to acknowledge what you're experiencing, and then once one has allowed some level of acknowledgement, the next step is to be able to try to give it a name. I am feeling this thing. This thing is this, and then the next step is to be able to try to learn from this thing that you've just named. So, for instance, quite there's some folks who, um, and they're horrible, evil people who have obsessive neurotic character structures. People who are often driven, they do lots of things. You know, they're often engaged in all sorts of activities, filling every hour of the day. They, you know, do all sorts right, of stuff. Right, right. Horrible people. Yes. But uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'll go so I'm far. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So far, I'll go along with this. All right. But, yeah. And so, um, success in Western culture often pulls for this sort of obsessive. I mean, you know, you've spent a big chunk of your life working with graduate students. Sure. Many of them have an obsessive character structure. Yeah. So, we talked about OCD a little bit uh, not long ago. They, 
they're driven. They have to do something. It's constant, and uh, and, and they, that's the way you can be successful to it. So there's a there's a it, it positive works. side to you it. You know, as well. you you don't you're getting through graduate school re requires some drivenness and attention to detail. All that, you know, requires that sort of stuff. But if you have that sort of character structure, what we often do is we answer our stress by just working harder. Right. You know? And you'll often see folks like this. They may suddenly they will they will have that they've have these. I have an app on mine. Um, a, a mindfulness app, right. and it'll even um, it'll 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 set and tell you how much you've meditated this week. And if you meditate a little more, it'll give you a congratulations. You could literally have mindfulness become something that you there. You could become competitive meditation. Yes, <laughs> I've meditated it's, more than you. I but win. It literally and, is. Uh, you know, I'm going to meditate the heck out of this. I'm going to be the I'm best gonna, man. Yeah, it really super. Is. Ultra. Yeah, you know, uh, that Buddha guy's got nothing yeah, on me, you yeah. know. <laughs> and uh, it, 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 if so, part of one, what can happen in terms of being maybe even that first or second step, being able to listen to name it, is to get a mm -hmm. sense of how do you handle stress? If you have one of those obsessive sort of structures, we have a way of handling stress by um, inadvertently giving ourselves more stress. Yes. Uh, maybe maybe trying to um, in some ways fix the problem and you do the same thing in in order to try to fix it it just increases it more mm -hmm. so your solution mm -hmm. becomes a problem and you continue to do that and that's mm -hmm. kind of like some kind of computer loop or something yeah, it's one of those about. what we used so to call vicious cycles you know vicious cycles yeah <laughs> yeah we get so that it's not a um, great name for uh, I was gonna call my kid vicious, you know, like what's a great name for a kid? This is my kid, Vic. Kid which vicious is first... was a, yeah. <laughs> kid. No. <laughs> which I saw this. <laughs> this was uh, somebody posted on the web. You know the, um, um, you know what uh, is um, highly correlated with uh, drinking during pregnancy? Kid rock concerts. Kid rock <laughs> concerts. <laughs> drinking <laughs> during pregnancy. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm with that. I'm, I can understand you know, that. You know, if you, you like the kid he's, rocks, he's, he's been back in the news lately. <laughs> I think he just threw out a tweet that everybody. Yeah, jumped to, on. To, yeah. To Taylor Swift. Yeah, he said that she wanted to be a movie star, so she's pretending to be a Democrat. Yeah, that that doesn't help you get anything going <laughs> in really Hollywood sure. or anywhere else. I can imagine. Not sure how that you know how that yeah, works, yeah. but uh, yeah, I think he should stick to eating at Waffle Houses and yeah, do um, whatever he's got <laughs> and, to do uh, and, uh, and and the malt on, liquor. But, uh, Kid Rock, no, yeah, maybe one song out of that, that repertoire, but uh, yeah, he's got that, that uh, no. bam, da da bing, a bing, a bing, boom, bar, whatever that song is. You yeah, that yeah, song? there's something I can't remember it either, so, so that yeah. tells you something. So yeah. there you go. All right, but yeah, so this idea of rest, we don't know how to do it, <clears throat> and then sometimes we we apply the same sort of um, anxiety-ridden uh, attention to detail, obsessiveness, compulsiveness that uh, keeps us in this anxious state. And um, we're, we're failing at meditating and we're failing at taking a break, it sounds like. Well, well there could ought to be a moment in, in treatment, for instance, if someone comes to see me and we can come to a place of, um, of felt knowing, a place of, um, of here and now sort of insight. And that can be where they come in and they, have, uh, they talk about how depressed they are, how they feel horrible. And when we can come to a place to be able to say, well, your depression is the sane response to an insane environment. We talked a little bit about right. before about the, the frog in boiling water, and that sure. as our stresses increase, we can adapt very quickly without little understanding that as the water gets hotter, we're beginning to boil. Right. And so you have to be to develop some awareness of what it is that's, uh, that's boiling around you and how it's affecting you. And when you can give that a name, you can, you can do something with it. I think so. You know, I, one of my concerns is that uh, I know from my, my own experience that I handle stress okay if it's one, uh, maybe two things, sometimes three things, but then there's so many things going on. It's almost the, the, the number of stressors uh, that add up that cause uh, me to go kind of off the rails a little bit. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering if uh, you kind of put everything in, in its perspective, everything in place, then you go, okay, well, what can I do something about? Uh, what can I don't have any control over, and how can I live with this? I got a wonderful example of like, you know, rather recently. Um, this was a few weeks ago. I, uh, my wife had, uh, we, we're, 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 we're vegetarians, so we have these, um, 
these uh, vegetarian um, chick nuggets. So they're okay. Like, um, they're not made from chickens. No. So they're made from some sort of... Broccoli. Uh, well, the, the, <laughs> no, it's some sort of um, something. soy protein. Yes. So it's like, you know, so we have it. They've got I, these companies now that are making that stuff. They, they, like, they, yes, they, you, you can get good, like, actually. you know, yeah. you can get soy veal, you know. Um, yeah. If you like. Uh, you have know. we gotten the soy liver yet? Have we got any of that? I think uh, you can actually now begin to, th th they're trying to mimic the taste of human beings and they're <laughs> based on ethnicity. And I, I've, I've tried the Samoan. It is just You're great. You're going to have to <laughs> watch it and not go too far. In the vegan line there. At the That's right. You know, no. I, will, I will say the Norwegian, not so good. The Samoan, <laughs> I really recommend, yeah. recommend yeah. the, uh, I don't uh, know this, what it is. I think this, it's uh, the diet of poi. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Or as the dry This is fish. not getting us in this conversation where we <laughs> sorry, need to sorry, go. Sorry. All right, where were we? We were, we're, we're at the chicken nuggets. So, okay. so my wife... Uh, I, I assume she probably was in a, in a in a rush or a hurry. Right. It could be because she doesn't love me or she just wants me it dead. Could, it could, could be. very well but be a lot of things But she put the box like of chick yes. nuggets in there. She just sort of put them in the refrigerator. Okay. And she didn't seal the box, and they were angled a certain way. So as soon as you opened the, your, this, the, the freezer, the chick nuggets poured out. Okay. <laughs> so I am in a rush because I'm trying to feed my kid before I head back to, to work for lunch. And he sure, says, hey, give, sure. can you make me some chicken eggs? I said, sure, but i got to hurry. So I'm rushing around. I open the refrigerator, and the chick nuggets Boom. fall out. Chicken nuggets there, I literally have a pile of chick nuggets up to my <laughs> ankles all around, all around my feet. And... I, I, I do, I think, what, what some folks... I always said, had, a, had a camera, just one <laughs> pic, just one pic to spread on and the my, internet. My son that's is all standing there looking at me, and I look down at the chicken nuggets, and I think I do what a lot of people, unfortunately, would do. I start to growl. I go, you know? Okay, yeah. You mean, this is a guttural sound that just so kind of comes this, out. Yeah, yeah, so I'm I growling, that. And Absolutely. so he's watching me as I growl at the chicken nuggets. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and then I grab some, and I put whatever, whatever, I wash them off. And right, right. Oh, we go on. Well, the next okay. that that night, um, I'm tucking in bed and giving a kiss good night, whatnot, and um, we 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 we've been we read a lot of Ayn Rand, so we're we're about no, you do not, but go ahead. <laughs> you want something, the, but it's not. We're all the way through, we're almost through the Fountainhead, and you know he's he's learning to be selfish in a you know capitalist selfish, uh, but um, so you're bringing this boy up right. All right, yeah, go right, ahead. It's going to be a success, and uh, we also usually then look at pictures of the poor and make fun of them. But, <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, so, then, then. so we're not we're not. Man, so, so, we're, we're, we go. so he says to me, he says, he said he starts laughing, and he says, yeah, you know, and he said, do you realize earlier today you were growling at chick nuggets? <laughs> he said, why were you doing that? And, and it took a moment for me to reflect out of the out of the mouth of children. I thought, right, right. That's a wonderful example of how I was. If 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 I could have asked myself. Why am sure. I suddenly growling right. at this pile of chick, chick nuggets right. you know, uh, uh, at my feet? Right. And I might, have, <laughs> I might have come up with an answer. Well. I might have, you know. Um, you could have put a sentence out there, and put a word of a subject and a verb, and then made, could, made a could have come statement of some sort. Mm. But no, it was a, a mm. guttural it was, it was, growl. It was a growl. It was a growl. It was a growl. So, um, and he heard it. He, he, did, he did. And he gave it back um, to you a little bit later on. Thank you. But um, so so, that will be an example of how I think that I wasn't quite aware how stressed I was, and if if I were a little more aware of the things I was experiencing, I certainly w was. And so you know what I did the next night, next day, is I gave myself ten minutes extra for lunch, so okay. I would be able to make some things. And I so I, I I it was an example of how to cut myself enough slack to navigate that moment. Now, that's not necessarily a form of resting per se, but it's close, right? Mm -hmm. It's close. Yeah, and, <clears throat> and I think uh, you kind of catch up. I don't think we can always be in that moment where, um, you know, we have all the answers, <laughs> have all the responses uh, for things, and we just have to take a few minutes to kind of catch up. And also, a little forgiveness in there. You did made that growl. It could have been worse. Could. Uh, maybe I so. Uh, you know, give yourself a break a little bit. I could have dog-cussed those chick nuggets. <laughs> I could have. I could have just, you know, I could have said something about their moms and their dads and, you know, about orifices they don't have, you know. I didn't I mean to bring this back into the, the conversation. <laughs> Not now. You could, could have done have. that the other day. Could but have. you gave yourself a break the next day. Uh, okay, that makes sense. And, uh, so, yeah, it's kind of catch up a little bit and try to even this thing out so mm -hmm. that you're not hyper uh, stressed. But um, 
I guess we're in, if we're on that edge and that tension, um, and something happens, then we have you have that reaction. But that's a normal thing. Give yourself a break. Well, and see, you have to be able to give yourself a break. You have to realize you need one, and then you have to give yourself permission to give yourself the break, and then you have to have some skills to do it. There right. are a number of things that right. need to happen in that sentence. Bunch of and steps that, there. And and that's why you know some of the folks who come to see me for for therapy and whatnot. Um, it could be that their life has overcome their ability to do all those things. It could be that they've never really learned how to do those things. It could be that there is conflict, that the idea of giving that, I mean, I've, I've worked with a number of folk who will say, I don't deserve a rest. Or if I mm. rest, something mm. bad will happen. If you are in the presence of a parentified child who's been in the position of having to care for their parents in some emotional factor, if, but there's a wonderful uh, line of the Bear Snard Lakes. That's a uh, band. Ever heard of those guys? No, I haven't. Well, they have uh, the lyric, and the lyric is, I'll save you, 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 and then maybe you can save me. And so huh? the message in that, I think, for, also, for, for, for a number of children who've been pushed into this print fried role, for instance, they have to be in a place of doing the saving with the hope that somewhere right. down the line they may get the crumbs right. that they need. All right. Very unfair for that, mm -hmm. that child to be, mm -hmm. you know, sort of robbed of their childhood to become mm -hmm. that adult for the, uh, the mm -hmm. other, the, the adult, the parent. So I will uh, say that in my case I was able to smoke early, which was good. I <laughs> was able to, at the age of seven, I was enjoying cigars and know, cognac. I was seeing the <laughs> was a boy down there. Uh, <laughs> That's right. The, he was yeah, I know. I knew where the, you were going. It was just, it's, uh, uh, I'm man, I'm man, is what he said or something. So what he said, effect. he says, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, he said, uh, uh, I'm yeah. no baby, I'm a man. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, uh, I will say, it really depends on what he's smoking, because if those were, you know, filtered Winstons, no, he's still a baby. But if yeah. that guy can do an unfiltered camel, he'd say, uh, you know. Well, it's, it's very interesting how we have seen some of the same kind of thing on the Internet that we have reference to. But the idea of uh, giving yourself a break and, and resting, and you just said some people just say they don't deserve it they or something that, that, that maybe a, yeah. happened in the past i'm assuming that mm -hmm. part of their development that, mm -hmm. so that maybe and you notice uh, that to oh, skill, oh, it took that way. turn because i'm reflexively psychoanalytic so you see you uh, 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 <laughs> i just did it right i right. just did it yeah, I said, you did. think about what are the conflicts what are the, the the hidden messages what are the your the maps you have of yourself in the world how have they, they may have been adaptive in the past. If you grew up with an alcoholic mom and dad and, um, you, you know, you had to drag your dad out of the truck so it wouldn't choke and is on vomit three or four times a, a week, you know, it might have been adaptive because you need to keep him alive and you needed to keep your family in intact. That map no longer translates when you yourself are a dad and you're working eight jobs at the same time and right. you feel like you're trying to, you know, and, and you're attempting to stave off a disaster that's actually already happened. Right. And that can be a powerful right. thing to right. be able to say some, to one that the disaster that you are planning for has happened and you survived it. Right. That can be a powerful moment in a, in a therapy session right. for you to realize Absolutely. you're right. Absolutely. That, may, that makes sense <clears throat> if somebody kind of recognizes their own strengths and their ability to cope and, and move, move forward through difficult mm -hmm. times, so for sure. Well, I don't know about taking, taking breaks, and how often should you? What's your plan? You say you meditate every day. Uh, yeah, I do. So when do you find time to do that? I, I think you're a very busy guy, so I'm going to wonder how this well, works. Well, th th you know? this is part of it because I, 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 I am also have one of the reasons I was sort of making that joke earlier about obsessive people being horrible is because, unfortunately, I happen to be to have that very structure. Oh, it, ta it takes one uh, to know <laughs> and one. It does. There we go. And for I just instance, had to it, say it. it is, you know, I, I have gotten to where I get up earlier and earlier every morning. I get up at 4 now, sometimes 3.30. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. All right, there and, we go. And uh, usually I am, um, you know, I... Alone. First of all, <laughs> by the way, well, that, that, there's one of the benefits so that, of that. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe that that's one of the benefits. Uh, nobody yeah. to bother me. That's right. And um, um, I might uh, eat my bowl of. Um, I got these kashi cereal. Eat that's that, that's yeah. like if you went out in the backyard and just you know took some twigs, uh, mowed the lawn, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, then threw them in a bowl. Together, bowl, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I had some I mean, of those. Yeah, I might eat that. Nice with, and crunchy. Yeah, but I put some soy milk on them, so there's okay. that. There's oh, yeah. some soy milk. Yeah, and then I go to the gym, work out for a while, and then I come home, and I shower, and then I head to work. Usually that can get me there anywhere from 5.30 to 6, usually at 6. 
Then I might take some time to meditate. And ah, I have okay. pictures on my phone. I usually meditate, and then right about the time I'm done meditating is when the sun's coming up. Ah, and then I take okay. pictures of the dawn. Okay. So I have I have many pictures of the dawn in my phone, you know? Ah, and uh, okay. some of them look a little bit like um, um, the pictures from my last colon- colonoscopy. But... <laughs> And, and the, actually, this actually happened. Somebody asked me to send a picture of the dawn, and I accidentally sent them a picture of one of my oh, colonoscopies. Colonoscopy. So I, Did they know the difference? They did. What I wanted they did. To they know. said, you know, they said. <laughs> that, uh, is, that is a first of all bad well, joke. What, what I had to wrong. say was, and no they were talking about it, when, <laughs> when they said, you know what, that's one of the most beautiful sunrises they've seen. I said, I hate to tell you this, that's a polyp. <laughs> but. <laughs> You know, that never goes well. hey, things happen. You send that wrong. <laughs> that picture, a lot of people have sent pictures they didn't mean to send. Yeah, yeah. I got to be careful yeah, on yeah. the phone there. Like, uh, uh, for some reason, every, I don't know if you realize this, but for a while I was trying to be Catholic. I sent a lot of nude selfies to my priest. <laughs> and I had, after the 15th time, I don't think he thought this it was is, an accident. This is, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I, I don't know. You, you, you took me off track there with that a little bit. Uh, we worked through several stages there. Well, we did, we did. Sure none, of them were, none of them were good, <laughs> but they were, they were stages. But, uh, you, but you, you find that time to meditate I do, I and, do uh, right before <laughs> sunrise. All right, that's a that's good it, thing. That's good. And that, that helps you start your day off. Mm-hmm. And so I also here's something I do. I, I, I allow myself, because, you know, sitting is the new smoking. So 45 minutes, I do a 45, 50 minute hour. If I'm doing in session or I'm supervising, um, you know, or if I'm... Uh, Wrestling or any activity I do, I just can yes, find a lot of that minutes. at the counseling center. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, if I'm making a souffle, but what I do is I or wrestling and making a souffle. It's an <laughs> Both. art. I'm thinking <laughs> those go together. <laughs> I'd make the eggs. I guess you put eggs in a souffle. I've never made a souffle. Well, yeah, have to but they'd be up, vegans. Yeah. They wouldn't be eggs. Egg substitute. Egg what? Oh, I think that's still there an egg. Uh, yeah, that's an egg. Why do ra- I get involved in these conversations? <laughs> Don't be racist. Right, okay, so 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 guys. Okay, so okay. so. That's so, all I can say. Uh, 45, 50 I'm not minutes. I'm sure where we just went, but not, can we come back now? Okay, thank <laughs> Give you. Give yourself three minutes, and I get up, and I, I have a, I walk down the stairs, yes. and I sort of monitor my breath. I do a walking meditation sort of thing, okay. and then I come back, and it's right. a way of sort of checking in and reconnecting with yourself throughout yeah. the day. Boom, I yeah. do it. Yeah. All right. Um, I like it. I, I think it's kind of cool, and I think we need to do, all of us need to adapt some um, method like that uh, to add to our day, because I think that meditation actually works. Mm-hmm. I think the, the I, it, being it can aware be and kind of where your tension and stress is in your body and uh, t- tensing it and relaxing it and being aware of it, and it just sets you up to to be okay in the next few moments. So mm-hmm. I think it helps with that. So. Why not put it into your days? You say you do it throughout the day. Or right. end of the day. By the, and then at the end of the Most day. At the end of the day, everybody's stressed out and we work. Well, by the end, I, I go home, home right? and then I, um, I, I, well, you know, I, I like music, so I go home and I listen to yeah. some music. And often it's, you know, it, it can be raucous, you know? You know, it could be, a, oh, yeah. it could be, could be you know, heavy sometimes. Yes, but yes. I like, uh, I like me some of that, uh, that black metal and death metal sometimes. Or, or just, uh, you know, just, just, uh, I, I like uh, I like mean jazz too. P- people often think of jazz as like something that you sort of sip a cocktail uh, to and relax. And flowing but I like the sort of jazz thing. that wants to kill me. You know? Okay. I want to hear the uh, death uh, jazz. I do. There actually <laughs> is, there is, there is death metal jazz, by the way. Death metal jazz. There is. Okay. Yeah, there is. There's I'm a ready. band called Zoo, and there's a band called Fire, and there's a band called um, <sighs> Fire House. Um, okay. All right. So, uh, but uh, death metal jazz. There is John Zorn, the okay. electric right. Masada, has some sort of death metal jazz elements to it. I'm getting educated um, as we move here lots, through this conversation. That, I don't have yeah. any of those albums, but uh, Good, yeah. now do I know. Mm. Yeah, so you listen to some music, sort of this driving metal. Uh, gets the you know gets the bugs out. Kind of get get things going. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Um, that takes you through the day. So, what about the night? Uh, well, and, and we just had somebody show up at the college there who was a sleep researcher, and you know that's that's what we should talk about one of these days. Oh yeah, sleep, sleep hygiene, oh, yeah, very sleep important. Exactly. But uh, forty-five to minutes to an hour, I, I I I lay in bed and I read, and I this yeah. is this is not necessarily good because it does show my obsessive structure. I try to read five books at the same time: a book of poetry, 
a book of uh, clinical application, maybe a bit of theology, possibly some nonfiction or fiction that'll go in there too, philosophy or whatnot. Okay. And I read like 10 minutes of each one of them and swirl them around like a cocktail and see what comes up. Wow, that 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 helps me understand our conversation. <laughs> says it does um, yeah, on uh, the uh, old podcast. So now yeah. it's beginning to make Actually, sense. I, I'd Ten also listen to book, a lot of books, uh, and here we go. I listen to a lot of Full House uh, erotica. I don't know if you've seen this fan fan erotica for Full House. <laughs> I, uh, it was some a good big stuff. show. It was a big show. It was a lot of, lot of fans. <laughs> a lot of fans. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of. Uh, <laughs> All right, but but um, that, so. You know, there's some things you can read that kind of, you know, turns up the the anxiety or the mm-hmm. tension or something that sort of gets you uh, thinking more as opposed to mm-hmm. relaxing and resting mm-hmm. you. So I think a lot mm-hmm. of people talk about reading as a way of sort of yeah. I couldn't add to put. I was watching soften those. Down I remember the heard of those, those Fifty Shades bed. of Gray? Yeah. I mean. Uh, yeah. I, if, a couple reasons. First off, they really make me nervous because I, I couldn't keep up. I mean, I, I can't. I can't compete. There's a lot going on there. But also, I couldn't finish. You know, I couldn't. You know, why I couldn't finish them. No, I don't know. I got tied up. <laughs> <laughs> How long did we wait for that joke? How long did we wait for that that joke? Couldn't finish because I was tied up. <laughs> Fifty Shades. Love it. See, that's what happens. I think. Yeah, pulling pulling all those. <laughs> Those five books, and I'm, by the way, I need to get that book list because I'm not sure these are the right books you need to be reading. But uh, that it counts for the jokes. All right, so I'm, I'm counts, good with that. Can't count for something. Good. Yeah, you better get to bed because you got to get up at four o'clock. I do. I go to bed God. at eight. Eight o'clock, I'm in the bed. Oh man, yeah, it's like you know. You're missing all the excitement from eight yeah. to nine, nine to ten. And let people realize this. Uh, I also most people wear like pajamas to bed. I wear an ascot. I don't know why. Just one of those, yeah, like you're on a yacht you know, like, with like, a yeah, like, ascot uh, you thing. Know, yeah, Fred from uh, the, the Scooby Doo shows. Okay, you watch that guy. Have you seen him? <laughs> no, he's, no, he's I don't got an have ascot. it. Okay, that's uh, yeah. Well, ascots yeah. are. Um, my wife different. says, you know, what my wife says she says I put the ass in ascot. That's what she says. No, oh, that's a great <laughs> comment by her. All right, yeah. I can understand that. Yeah, so, yeah, we need to talk about sleep coming up. Let's do we'll sleep hygiene. on the agenda. We'll and we're, talk we're, about we're thinking about talking about that, uh, that Quentin Tarantino movie that I'm hopefully be able to see. I, yeah, you're gonna, hopefully you're going to see that. It's out. Uh, people are talking about it. Um, I think... Uh, he's he's going to retire. He's gonna, he said he's going to make one more movie and retire. And it's going to be a Star Trek movie. He's making a Star Trek. It's going to be no, Pulp Fiction Space. No, that can't be space. right. That that's can't that's be whatever. Right. I'm not making that up. Oh, no. He <laughs> gonna, he's going to blow that franchise <laughs> completely out of the water. It's going to um, be, yes. Yeah, so... It's gonna be that? a thing. Well, this this, um, this this Once Upon a Time in Hollywood uh, movie, the title, okay, go with the title, and you'll be mm-hmm. fine with the movie. Don't expect a documentary. Uh, yeah. I think I went in thinking a little bit <laughs> I was gonna see something I didn't want to see. Uh, it was yeah, yeah, be, yeah. Uh, some old newsreels and stuff <laughs> like that. But actually, um, I like the movie. I want to talk more about it. So we'll find some time to do that. So. What else is on your mind? Any any uh, final thoughts before you're out of here in the I'm studio? I'm going to get today? a haircut. So I, I, my my next final thought is is I you know I'm I um I always feel uncomfortable when I ask them to uh, trim my back hair, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to find some way to to work that in. Oh, that, uh, that, that hair that comes out the I, back. Here's what I might say: is the last thing is if, is if you got anything from this, and you probably didn't, but if you did, but, the way yeah. to think about this is 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 learning to rest is a skill. And it's something you have to practice every day. It's not something that you you put off for one week out of a year where you go on vacation. Those are wonderful times and wonderful moments. But the goal is to be able to listen to yourself. And part of listening to yourself is not just answering your stressors, but asking yourself the question, what do I need to do about these stressors? Sometimes the things we feel tell us that we need to make some pretty big changes in our life. And right. that can be hard to hear, but we may need to listen for that. Yeah, well, I think that's uh, that's important uh, statement there that we may find out that we may need to make some changes that we put mm-hmm. off or refuse to uh, think about and make any action on. So, yeah, it could lead to that. For the most part, though, day-to-day activities, maybe the meditation and the thoughtfulness and the mindfulness, all of that will kind of help us level things out, even during those stressful times. So I like it. That's, that's good news. All right. All right, so go forth and do good things, my friend. All right, talk to you next time.